Hey there, what's up guys? So, today we have the reveal of what is in the box. This is the start of mod week. It is Monday, and uh, there's a lot of mods to come this week. First one is, uh, well, pretty much my favorite one that I'm excited for. And it is the Randy Ellis Design bull bar slash light bar. Right now it's just gonna be a bull bar for me. And uh, comment below what kind of lights I should maybe put on there eventually. But I just wanted a bull bar look for now. So, it comes with instructions, they're all wet, which I don't really need anyway. Let's unwrap this, shall we? You see there's what she looks like, all unwrapped. All right, so it comes with the uh, bull bar instructions, uh, the decal, and then this pouch. I don't know what's in here, so let's go ahead and have a look-see. Bunch of uh, bolts and washers. Huh. Uh, those are nice to have, I suppose. Don't really know if we need those. Okay, you see I have the one tow hook off. That's where it goes. There's only four bolts. There's a, a nut and a washer, and then a bolt on the back side. Uh, for the driver's side, just to let you know, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze, a kind of a bitch, but uh, if I can get them off, you can get them off. Uh, I was trying at first to kind of rig up some sort of deal here. Then I turned my brain on and thought, why not just uh, use a good old crescent wrench on the back side to hold it tight. And then an impact with an extension to uh, get her off. This is a, for example, this is a three quarter crescent wrench and a bolt. As you can see, the last one's sticking out there. That was focus. Don't know if you can see that, but that's an 18 millimeter. Okay, socket. So. Go ahead and take this one off and then we'll go from there. As you can see, there's the four bolts. And then there is the back side bolts right there. And then the other two out of the other side. As you can see, that will be, uh, be time lapse on the video, but literally only took about two minutes. Is that? Okay, now you can see that both sides are off. So let's slow her. Give her a test fit me real quick. Okay, it fits like a glove. That's gonna look pretty cool. Pretty subtle, but uh, for this build, for this truck, I don't really want one of the big cages um, that go across the whole front end. Uh, nor do I want like a grill guard or anything. I just like the small, but kind of mean looking bull bars like that. Kind of just gives it a little extra aggression up front. So you have on top, so you can mount light bars or the individual rectangle or round like Casey highlight style lights um, I'm a fan of the round lights myself so uh, like I said if you guys got any ideas let me know but that's probably what I'll be leaning towards uh, if you guys know of a good version of the Casey highlights or any any round light for that matter or anything maybe I don't know let me know and uh, maybe we'll do that I'm not really sure how I'm gonna line this up myself and then start tying it down, so let's see if I can do it. If not, maybe I'll try and grab a hand here. All right, so uh, this is the next scene. Like I said, you actually do need a pair of hands and uh, didn't really put that part of the film in here. It just couldn't get a right angle with us trying to wrestle it on there, so. But long story short, 
you see I got two on there and uh, well basically one on there so I'm gonna tie the rest of them down here for you guys and then uh, hopefully she'll stay straight she's straight now get a quick sneak peek there it uh it's not as big as I thought this truck is just massive so you'd really need a big bull bar to make it really stand out up there but it's subtle it's kind of cool kind of gives it just something mean on the front and uh, matches the black front end so I'll go ahead and tie her down and then we'll see how she uh, looks when she's done. Two more. We got all four there. Two more. Alright guys, all the bolts are tied down, nuts are on, washes are on, what do you guys think? I actually love the way it looks, it's pretty badass, not a lot of tools, uh, very straightforward easy installation, the only hard part is just trying to fit, you know, your tools and hands back here getting these started, um, luckily I have long fingers somewhat skinny fingers so it was hard but I got it um, if we got bigger hands it may be pretty tough but the only thing is mounting it on there uh, at least for me I need someone to hold it there while I mount the tow hooks on front of the bracket and then get got a couple bolts started on each side so that was the only uh, tough part if any anyway guys that looks really cool I'm happy with it Tell me what you guys think, and uh, tell me if you guys got that light bar slash bull bar from Randy Ellis Designs. I know uh, someone commented a couple videos ago about one of the guesses that I should get this, and it was funny because I had had it for a week when they said that, so they kind of read my mind, I guess. You know who you are? I think it was Don. I can't remember, but... Uh, Yep, you guys did a good job guessing. As you can see, it's pretty cool. Nice black powder coated. It's tough. You can shake it. it, shakes the whole truck, so it is on there good. Let's go ahead and connect that winch hook, shall we? Looks like she's good to go there. Now the next part of this video will be quick. This is to actually address if you saw a couple of my last off-road videos where uh, we recovered people. Um, there were one or two times where um, one of them I wasn't even involved in and then the other one I had to come help after the fact. And uh, 
it involved using the winch cable as basically a tether or a uh, toe strap, which is not what you're supposed to do. I have never condoned that, and I have never personally done that myself. Um, I didn't initiate that recovery. I am not stupid. I know how to recover a vehicle. I always use a very heavy toe strap with shackles when you're pulling them out. If you're going to use a winch, you know how to use a winch. I know how to use a winch. Um, you have an anchor point and you let the winch pull the truck out by itself. You don't, you never pull on a winch cable, especially when it's steel, uh, like a snatch strap, because that's just very unsafe. Even though I do have uh, shackles, this is just going to be a little nicer. This is a little receiver attachment here to go in your hitch, and that has a shackle that comes with it. So, shit, I probably got about four or five, six maybe shackles now. So that's awesome. So this is by Vault Cargo Management. Let you read that stuff there. Okay, black powder coat. Seems pretty tough. Okay, nice shackle on the end. Which I have in the RAM box here. Okay, right here. She's in now. All right, and then this should slide in here. And it does, perfect, okay? Okay, so now it slides in. You got your shack on the back. Looks pretty cool. And uh, so you slide in your uh, hitch pin here. I have one of the locking ones. Okay, you see that? Got a key. Don't know if I've ever shown that to you guys before. But uh, yeah, so you obviously line your holes up. Slide that puppy in like that. And then, well, let me set the camera down. Put your little cap on the lock. Keep your keys with you and then she's locked in. Okay. So now she's ready for recovery. From the back, so the, again, a less preferred method than actual toe straps is this hook straps. Not a fan of those either, which you would hook right there. Okay, these are better. Road, fits the theme of the truck as always. I think it looks pretty cool. Guys, hope you've been enjoying these off-roading videos. One coming next week again. I will be going Sunday to uh, River Road Rally Park again pretty much the rest of the year when they're open I'll be there so I'd love to have you guys out there if you're local anyway guys please throw a like on there comment below tell me how you like this stuff what I should do with the light bar and uh, subscribe please if you haven't already we're so close to 2k and I want to hit 3k 4k let's keep on growing together all right a lot of good stuff coming at you this week, so stay tuned. This is just the first of many mods. I will catch you guys later.